Hi dear members, I am Ram Krishna Reddy Palagiri and I have been of your group and this is my 16th video. This video I am making on stearic acid which is a saturated fatty acid which contains 80 carbons and it belongs to long chain fatty acid. This stearic acid is present mostly in cocoa butter, sea fat and mango kernel etc. And this fatty acid triglycerides are used mostly in chocolate manufacturing. So it has some important uh, in, in it has some important in the oil industry. Uh, so please go this video and give our suggestions on this advice uh, etc. And uh, this stearic acid. After palmitic acid, it is the most available fatty acid in our personal oils. Available for starting from 1 and 1 to 2 percent to up to 45 to 50 percent also it is available in certain oils. And most probably it is most important uh, in the pages that are used in manufacturing of chocolates. Okay, thank you. Stearic acid or octa decaonic acid CH2, CH2 16 time and COOH presented by Ramakrishna Reddy Palagiri. Stearic acid is a long chain saturated fatty acid. It is also called octa decanoic acid or stearophanic acid. It is usually found in various plants and animal fats. It is majorly found as a component of sea of butter and cocoa butter. The chemical formula of stearic acid is C18H36O2. Stearic acid name derived from Greek word stear. Stear means tallow. As it first found in tallow, the name was put as stearic acid. After palmitic acid, stearic acid is another saturated fatty acid found naturally in many fats and oils. This is the formula image of the saturated fatty acid stearic acid here it is the ch3 twi ch3 the only this is methane group we know it is as a omega carbon also this carbon is omega carbon this is ch3 this is a methyl group and at this one it is the coh carboxyl group and it is also known as the alpha carbon the starting is alpha this is the omega last one and totally it contains 80 carbons ch3 one carbon ch2 times 15 times 15 plus 1 16 and c2 is 70 and coh is 80 totally it, it contains 80 carbons and here it is a 3d image of the stearic acid this one is the COOH and this is the CH3. And in chain, you know, each carbon has two hydrogens. This carbon has two hydrogens. This are hydrogen card two. So, like that, in the hydrocarbon chain, there is no double bond at all. That is why it is a saturated fatty acid. This is the COOH carbonic group. And this is the CH3 methyl group. Here also in 3D image we can see this methyl group and this is the carboxylic group. Two oxygen, this one, two are oxygen in red color, white in hydrogen. Here the sources of the stearic acid is given in this chart. In which oils it is more abundantly available. Cocoa, seed butter, it is up to 34 to 36 percent it is available and sea seed butter 40 to 50 percent the stearic acid is available 
in salt seed butter 40 to 50 percent cocoon fat 55 to 64 percent and mango kernel fat 40 to 48 percent and mauva oil 14 to 19 percent cloth 12 to 15 percent this is the animal fat tallow this is also animal fat it is up to 3 to 7 percent and peanut this is known as also groundnut oil in india we call it is a groundnut oil it contains up to 3 to 4 percent in its saturated fatty groups and other oils it is up to 1 to 7 percent it is available so when it come to know you know you see cocoa butter chia seed salt seed cocoa fat mango kernel these are more saturated this stearic acid containing oils this stearic acid containing fats are used in chocolate manufacturing so they are most important so the other sea butter salt seed cocoa fat mango these are the uh, cocoa butter substitutes or cocoa butter equivalents like that they use in the manufacturing of the charcoal chocolates okay here here the physical properties of the stearic acid is given in this chart so molar mass of this stearic acid is 284.484 grams per mole and appearance of the stearic acid is a white solid it appears as a white solid substance and this smell of this acid is pungent somewhat strong and density of this one is 0 0.9408 and melting point 69.3 centigrade we can take it as also 70 degree centigrade boiling point at atmospheric pressure is 361 centigrade refractory index is 1.42 double nine at 80 degree centigrade we have seen the refractory index at 80 degrees means this melting point is 70 so above 70 only it will be in a liquid position then only we can calculate and read the refractive index that is why at 80 degrees this refractive index is calculated and it is soluble in acetates alcohol phenols carbon tetrachloride carbon disulfur and its saponification value is 196 to 200 and tighter value is 66 to 70 degree centigrade these are the physical properties of the stearic acid one of the saturated fatty acids after pumping acid available in the most vegetable oils and fats especially in chocolate manufacturing the stearic acid is most important thing and it is more quantity the cocoa butter cocoa seed and plus cocoa butter are used, are used in the manufacturing of chocolates okay this is the a brief description of the stearic acid okay friends uses of stearic acid stearic acid is mainly used in the production of detergents soaps and cosmetics such as shampoos and shaving cream products. It also helps objects such as bars of soap, candles, oil festivals, and hard candies retain their shapes. Commercial stearic acid is a mixture of approximately equal amounts of stearic acid and palmitic acids and small amounts of olic acid is employed in the manufacture of lubricants and pharmaceutical. In fireworks, stearic acid is often used to coat internal metal powders such as aluminium and iron. So, in fireworks, stearic acid is used oftenly to coat metal powders such as aluminum and iron. This prevents oxidation and allowing compositions to be stored for a longer period of time. And stearic acid is a common lubricant 
during injection molding and pressing of ceramic folders it is also used as a mold release for foam latex that is baked in stone molds these are the some uses of the direct acid 